Here's some facts about Bitcoin. Bitcoin has no central entity. The network is built from each user, just like the internet. There will only be 21 million Bitcoin ever created. This is embedded in the code and no one can change this. And there is a percentage out of the circulation supply that have been lost. So that 21 million is actually less. All Bitcoin transaction data is transparent and can be seen on the blockchain. So you can see every single transaction that have been taking place. No one actually knows who made Bitcoin. The individual or group who made the Bitcoin white paper calls themselves or himself Satoshi Nakamoto. The Fed Chair Jerome Powell compared Bitcoin to gold as a store of value. Let's talk about why Bitcoin is great as a currency. One Bitcoin can be divided into 10 million pieces. There will only ever be 21 million Bitcoin. Therefore, it's impossible for fraud. And you can store and use it anywhere. Think there's going to be a recession soon? Guess what? Me too. So how do we prepare? For this, history is a great teacher. Let's look back and see what did well. Well, first off, shorting on the way down is always a great way to capture profits. This allows you to make money when prices of assets are falling. People also turn a safe haven assets like gold and Bitcoin. Guys, I'm mining. <laughs> What is a Bitcoin mining pool? If you are to start mining Bitcoin today by yourself, you will almost never get any reward even with the best hardware out there. This is because Bitcoin mining is dominated by large mining farms with millions of dollars worth of equipment. To overcome this, individual miners developed a way to work together in pools. Mining pools group together everyone's computing power and solve problems much faster than their individuals. And each miner is rewarded proportionally depending on the amount of work that they have done. This is China's official digital currency app. It's launching in the next month in some cities in China. And this isn't just in China. The European Union is actively developing their digital euro as we speak. And two weeks ago, we even saw the US Senate propose a potential digital dollar. This is actually really scary. With these digital currencies, the government has a lot more power over how you spend your money. If you do business in some area they don't like, they can straight up shut you down. Taxes and all kinds of fees will be automatically deducted, and it'll be easier than ever to introduce new supply to the currency. And with the current world situation, this is definitely going to happen. This is why we need Bitcoin. In the digital world, Bitcoin is the equivalent of physical cash. It's global, no central authority controls it, it cannot be censored, and the monetary policy has to be agreed upon by everyone. These are hardware crypto wallets. And in fact, I have had one of these, which is the Ledger Nano S, that's the middle one here, for about two years now. They cost somewhere around $100. So you might ask, well, if you can store your crypto on your laptop or your phone and even back it up on a piece of paper, why do you need to spend money to buy a hardware wallet? So storing your crypto on your phone is very convenient. However, if you lose your phone and it's not encrypted, you lose all your crypto. On the other hand, you can also write down your private key on a piece of paper. But this is only good for long-term storage. And when you eventually want to spend your crypto, you still have to import it into a digital wallet. This can be your phone or your laptop, but they are most likely connected to the internet. So the moment that you copy your seed phrase from the paper to your digital wallet, it becomes insecure. That's why these hardware wallets are so useful. They allow you to store your private key completely offline, just like a piece of paper. And when you want to send your crypto, that login step only happens on your hardware wallet. So it has the best of both worlds. Can you mine all Bitcoins at once with a supercomputer? Bitcoin is designed in a way such that the more people that mine, the harder it is to mine. This is called the mining difficulty adjustment. Satoshi, the inventor of Bitcoin, did this because he wanted to keep the introduction of new Bitcoins steady. On average, new coins are created every 10 minutes, and this helps to keep inflation in check, in comparison to central banks printing money as they please. So the short answer is no, you can't mine all Bitcoins with a super powerful computer. There is one caveat though. Bitcoin adjusts its difficulty in every 
2016 blocks instead of in real time. Meaning if you did suddenly come across a super powerful quantum computer that nothing else can compete with, you could mine 2016 blocks at once. Right now, it would net you 25,200 bitcoins. That's 0.12% of the total supply and worth around $187 million. Now, this is also essentially impossible because technology improves gradually and the competition in mining prevents anyone from having such a big lead and power over others. 